Okay, everybody, you should be able to hear me, uh, see me, everything. So, welcome back to the Retro Quest. What the hell is this? Um, bullshit. Like, pretty much everything I do. Super Animal Brothers? Yeah, pretty much. Featuring rabbits. How's it going, Grandpa? So, welcome back to the Retro Quest. Uh, I'm gonna hopefully finish Tiny Toons Adventures Buster's Hidden Treasure for Genesis. And then I'll be doing another game concerning another Warner Brothers character that, I mean, I didn't do it on purpose, it was coincidentally on the list, so hey, um, happy for coincidences to happen. So, I'm doing pretty good myself. Oh wait, what am I, no, I, I wanna move on. There we go. Alright. Why is this guy suddenly super slow? Hey! I was totally hitting him. So instead of gaining more speed with the... with the snow... And the potential slippery controls, instead of that... It's like I get stuck on the floor in, uh, instead of... Going faster. I think I finished it, like, on the original Capcom vs Konami so many years ago. It is a tough game, but especially because of the length. Not really for other reasons. Alright, that seems to kill. I forgot this fucking rabbit suffers from the Mega Man Syndrome. Alright, let me do something real quick here. Fucking boxes popping out. On my other computer. So yeah, I'll be making saves more often, I guess. Because it actually happened in a couple levels in which... They were not hard, but still got my ass kicked and I had to restart from the very beginning. Since these levels have no checkpoints. And... That sucks ass. Yeah, I gotta love the one hit kill. Yep. I was watching some of your. Oh, the same mistake. Of Dungeons and Dragons stream last night. I didn't watch too much of it, like 15 minutes or so, because I passed out. It was like 1 in the morning here. Okay, appear and disappear in. Well, I don't know if these are even clouds or like floating snow platforms. Okay, it counts beyond nine. Interesting. It's now the time for short jumps. I mean, it, it does the same to me, trust me. I don't have the same energy as I had nine years ago doing this very same thing. Even though lately streams have been going pretty good. Probably it all depends on the game I'm playing. Sometimes, two, like, two hours pass by and don't even realize. So yeah, it all depends. Hey, Captain! Welcome back! I'm doing pretty good, how about yourself? I 
I honestly don't remember pretty much anything about these levels. I remember a little bit of the beginning and a little bit of the end. Like this middle section of the game. So kind of like I remember just bits and pieces of it. Falling platforms and an enemy on the very edge. Pretty much. Kind of similar to the same type of bullshit I was putting up with uh, when I was streaming Adventure Island yesterday. How are you expected to make it without taking a hit? Dude, even the falling platforms? Wow. Just wow. Okay. I don't know, I, I know it was you were streaming at 360, but quality wise didn't make any difference really. I mean to compare to the pixelated streams we all had in twenty I don't know 2008, 2009 Today's uh, 360p is pretty good. So this is where I die, right? I saw a life. And there is a cannon. I guess I can put it to good use. That's so Kirby! That was funny. Okay, the cannon is gone. It's one try thing. Suck my dick. That doesn't hurt me though. Oh, come on! Putting up insta kill at the very end of the level? That's ass. So, life or health? Yeah, I'm going for life. I mean, for health. What am I saying? Oh, come on, I didn't calculate it well. Well, at least you suck at gaming, I suck at life. Hey Omar, welcome back. Alright. Alright, now there was a little bit of slippery floor. Compared to the beginning of the world. I don't care if the followers come back. Again, I'm not about the numbers. I don't want to be rude, but you, you seem to care too much about numbers. At some point I said, in some other stream, that the one time I had a hundred viewers on my stream, years ago, it was not good. I did not enjoy that, trust me. People talking non-stop, it was not a good, a very, Good experience. It's 
especially from people that simply don't know or didn't know and obviously people that never came back so I'd rather have three people but three people that I actually know All right, yeah, I, I got carried away because, you know, for the speed, so... Let's do it again. Yeah, it's kind of like that. More viewers, more stress, in a way, yeah. Because you have to please everybody. Even though you don't have to. But it's some sort of, like, internal pressure going on. Or implicit pressure going on. Unfortunately, that thing is kind of standardized uh, for the bad. I remember I did like um, a stream in Spanish last year, and someone that apparently was a first timer on the channel, he said like, "All right, what's your objective?" But basically, my objective as a YouTuber. That's what he meant. And apparently, he was asking for. A specific number of subscribers and, and and money to be gathered. It's like apparently th this thing of setting numbers is like standardized. Or you start being a YouTuber slash Twitch streamer with the idea of becoming someone popular at some point within a certain like. No, this uh, this is like basically the, the gesture for, for big dicks. No, within a certain period of time, basically. Like, in two years, I plan on getting certain amount of viewers because, you know, again, it's like numbers rule the, the, the system today. And apparently, unfortunately, I would say, sadly, people have, like, found that normal by now. Like, you do things... For setting goals number wise. It is pretty sad that actually it, it, it's come to that. Alright, this is a different part. Again, the, the, I, I appreciate the flattering, but again. It's like, it is bad, instead of correct congratulating me, you should like, or people in the internet should like, criticize openly the ones who really do this for numbers. Not for fun, not for themselves. I mean, they do it for themselves because they have like, selfish purposes in the end. I mean, to be self, there's nothing wrong with being selfish, because I do this for myself in the first place, for, for me to have fun, and then for others to have fun. Again, it's selfish, but it's a good type of selfishness, right? But instead of congratulating me for being, like, different from the others, you actually should question those who really make this... trying to become famous and trying to get subscriber numbers a normal thing. I mean, I, I have 8,000-something subscribers. Do you think I'm gonna care? Do you think I'm gonna even announce? With all due respect for those who actually announce... Uh, who, who got a certain amount of subscribers, a milestone. Do you think I'm really gonna do that when you get 10k in who knows how many more years from now? Do you think I'm really really gonna do that? Like 10k is really, even if it's a symbolic number, do you think I'm gonna do that for real? Even if, I mean from those 10k, 50 people watch my videos regularly? It's a completely pointless milestone in my opinion. Okay, the, the trick to this boss is basically the vacuum cleaner. Goddamn vacuum cleaner. So in order to wrap this up, uh I really don't like when people get surprised about my good attitude about things. Because that makes me think that you guys have been, like, normalizing these attitudes from certain people and... 
That's definitely not good. It's not like the, that I have the right attitude, it's the others that have the bad one. Or the bad mentality about what the internet is. Cool. Cool do you understand. Sorry, Buster Bunny. Why don't you just call him Buster? It's like when people call me Chilean Retro Gamer. Call me just Chilean, or call me Retro, or even CRG, my initials. But don't call me by the full name. That's really, like, distant, you know? I don't like that. Okay, we have these, like, caves. Or is this a factory? Could be Last World. I think it's the last world of the game, actually. Again. I even if I get 10k myself, it means nothing. From those 10k, 100 people watch that. It's not even 1%. It has absolutely no relevance. The cave of tits. This is more like a factory of tits. It's like the, the, the top of those like houses are like nipples. Alright, this is weird. I'll save here. Okay, this platform is way too high. Fucking timing, basically, that's what it is. Oh my god, what do you get away? Never mind. I can't wait here. rather do so states. If there is something that, again, you do that all the time, Grandpa, and I respect what you do, but I am not gonna use invisibility cheats because that really, really... Uh, even infinite health is fine, but like, just running or walking without really getting hurt by anything is like... No. I used to do it and I got bored of cheating like that. Cheats are fine, but that specific cheat invincibility... It's like, fucking pointless. I don't enjoy the game, like, just walking and nothing happening to me in the process. I like a little bit of challenge, at least. Again, I, I talk about when I play my games myself. Oh, so it, it is either white or black in your case, there is no gray. So... So, if I don't like one aspect of your personality, that means that I hate you? Is that what you mean? Are you that type of person? I know you're joking, by the way, but I've been asking me that, uh, you know, asking uh, or wondering that lately, in general, in life. Like those people that like everything white or black. Come on, you cannot dig under that thing. I'll save here. Spike ass. Yeah, 
Yeah, in here we have lots of spikes. Yeah, that was a blind jump. That was pretty. It, that's dirty. Okay, this part is tricky because if uh, you touch one of the springboards, you pretty much die. Since we know that the spikes are insta kill, the Mega Man syndrome. Look, this game wants you to get speed or not. I, I never got that clear. Does this thing want you to run? Because you take a little bit of speed or you get carried away a little bit and you get fucked. I appreciate the challenge here, but I don't appreciate the blind jumps. There's no way to tell where you can land and, and wait for things to happen in order to advance. Games like this have to be thought for those who play for the first time. Again, the enemies are not the problem, it's those that electricity generator thing. Okay, maybe what I need to do is ride these platforms and not fall into the platform right away. Still kind of confusing. Alright, made it to the dodo. Hmm. Yeah, from the beginning of the level, because levels here do not have checkpoints.